Those who do not settle near water must use their ingenuity to find and transport it. Such is the case in Petra, the mystic city. Hidden among age-old canyons, it is a shining monument to the industrious Nabataeans, an Arab people that settled in southern Jordan 2,000 years ago. Like many ancient peoples, the first place the Nabataeans looked in their search for water was to the sky. But although the gods answered with 15 precious centimeters of rain per year, 92% of it was lost to evaporation. To compensate for this loss, each family had at least one system for collecting rainwater. Some were sophisticated systems, with sedimentation basins to separate mud and sand before the water entered the containment portion of the system, so the water would be fit for drinking. But since rainwater was not adequate to the Nabataean survival, and there were no springs to be found in the great canyon walls, they had to use their ingenuity to transport water from distant wells such as Ain Musa. Here is another main canal that is originating from the well of Wadi Musa. This canal here feeds a larger basin. When the basin is full, the water flows through several canals to the gardens here on the site and it also waters the city of Petra. So this channel enters the Sikh with two arms. One goes through the Sikh entrance and the other passes outside. Outside the town we also find many cisterns, dams and channels that feed the village. Modern engineers have begun to retrace and map the Nabataean system. They have discovered some principles that can be applied to today's needs. The ancient ceramic water pipes recently discovered in the Sig, one of Petra's narrow canyons, demonstrate an understanding that drinking water had to be transported in a special way. At the main entrance of the Sikh, you can see two main canals which come from the well of Wadi Musa. The first canal, on the right, has been dug out of the rocks and was then treated with a layer of coating to keep the water clean because it was drinking water for the city. These ancient engineers used a network of wadis, channels, terraces, dams, pipes and cisterns to collect, store and deliver water to a civilization of 30,000.